Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. My name's Teddy and today I'm doing another Copic illustration. What I'm drawing today is something that pops up quite a lot in my sketchbook and that's a character of mine who always seems to have a basket with her, sometimes with flowers or other plants showing within, or like you'll see how I did it today, empty. The reason I kept it empty in this drawing was I didn't feel confident enough to draw the flowers and I didn't want to risk ruining the pictures I began to colour it. Flowers is something I need to work on. I've never been one to draw flowers, so after looking back at the video, I feel as if maybe I should have tried to add them. You know, making sure I use reference so I don't make them look too alien. Like the previous drawing I did, I used the same Prismacolor color erase pencil in Scarlet Red, and today I decided that using my kneaded eraser would probably be better. So, I somewhat used it. I think I ended up using the eraser on the back of the pencil more in the end than my needed one. I think the reason I did that was just because it was easier, all I'd had to do was flip the pencil over and I'd have the eraser, where if I wanted to use the needed one, I'd have to put the pencil down, grab it, rub it out, put that down, pick that off the pencil. It's just a whole cycle that I was too lazy to do. <laughs> You can see now in the video uh, about the baskets I was talking about, I'm trying to add those in. In the end, even though I did the taller basket, I ended up only using the smaller one. I ended up erasing the larger one. I just didn't feel, again, confident enough to work out what I was going to do with it. It was difficult. So in the end, I just got rid of it. I'm, I, like I said in the previous video, I'm not uh, really sure what to talk about during these videos. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go and see if I can find some royalty free music and I'll cut that in somewhere so I am not talking for 10 minutes straight and boring news. So I will come back in again when I have something to say.
So what I'm hoping is that that music wasn't too loud for you. I don't know how to lower it. <laughs> but I thought now would be a good moment to jump back in when I went and picked out which Copic colours I'd be using. I ended up just using my Copics today and not touching my Winsor & Newton markers. Instead of telling you exactly all the colours I used in today's video, I've written it down in the description below. So if you'd like to see any of the materials I used, just go down there. And also, if you'd like to see where I got the music, that's also down there too. So, for this character, I already had a colour scheme in mind. She was pale, she had orangey blondy hair, and... The only thing I didn't know were her clothes, because normally she's not wearing modern clothing. So I decided to just go for a pair of blue overalls and a yellow jumper with grey socks. Not the most elaborate colour scheme, but it was okay in the end. When it comes to colour schemes, I'm also not really good at it. I try to sometimes stick in the same colour family. Like, with today's picture, most of the colours are cool. You've got the cool blue, the cool grey, which I actually used the cool grey, um, and the yellow. The only thing that you might see as warm in the drawing would, I reckon, maybe be the skin tone or the basket. But I tried to keep a pretty, you know, cool colour theme. I always have trouble because sometimes when you look at things you're like oh yeah those colors might work together and then once you've placed it down on a piece of paper they clash it's kind of difficult to work out sometimes whether or not you know adding say purple and then a really nice light green will go well without having a character look like the joker which you know is difficult sometimes i feel like the best way that i have had using um, purple and green in the same picture is to make the eyes like make them hazel but instead of you know brown and green make it purple and green which if my video I filmed yesterday actually worked would you would be seeing today yeah I'm, I might address that I actually filmed another video for today and it was more further it was further exploration on the uh, character I drew and half of it the sketch filmed perfectly fine and then I had to go help cook dinner then I came back outside finished the drawing only to find out that I recorded it the wrong way and my editing software does not give me the ability to rotate so there's that but oh well I will probably eventually post the sketching the sketch i did onto instagram so if you'd like to see that pop down the description both my instagram and my twitter are both down there and yeah so uh we're nearing the end we still got like a couple more minutes but i thought i'd just say thank you for watching and if you've gotten this far thank double thank you and if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell because Notifications are horrible if you just hit the scrap. They don't exist if you just hit the subscribe button. So yeah, I will let you guys go, and I will see you in the next video.